And so working with these volunteers has been an exceptional opportunity because it, it has provided us the means to provide our, our veteran leadership, the, the chance to get back out there and utilize the skill sets that they were taught in the military and utilize them out here outside of the military in a community environment. Uh, we managed to be able to take this group of civilians, the volunteers, spontaneous volunteers, take them out into the houses, the communities, the neighborhoods, and, and let these people know that we care. Still, as, well, as veterans, we're, we're working still to, to help America domestically now, not just abroad, uh, for the government, but for, for ourselves as volunteers. Just my job, I am currently helping to dispatch as well as monitor all incoming chat from both Google Voice and the volunteer chat. So when you say Google Voice and volunteer chat, these are the team leaders that are on site? Correct. These are the team leaders that are out maintaining uh, accountability through text messaging, as well as contacting additional people via volunteer system to confirm availability for work orders. So can you track where your teams are at the, any one time? If they have, were issued a Palantir phone, I can visually track them on this map. Although some teams are using personal phones via Google Chat contact. Gotcha. So are these dots that I'm seeing the uh, sites that we've worked on or are working on? These are unassigned work orders. These are jobs that still need to be completed. You want to work still? Yes, yes. Over 400 open work orders. How many work orders are we completing a, a day? Then? I don't know the answer to that question. How many teams are we sending out? Currently, I believe we have 10 teams out. With how many people? It varies, be varies between the teams. We have teams of 8 up to 20. Awesome, thank you. Yes, sir. They fought on the front line. Now, hundreds of military veterans are in the Rockaways determined to aid the area devastated by Sandy. We're a disaster relief organization. We work domestically and internationally. We're made up primarily of veterans from Iraq and Afghanistan. They're called Team Rubicon. Their focus? deploying military and medical professionals to humanitarian crisis situations. Member and Vietnam War veteran Bruce McInnes was nearly brought to tears talking about their efforts. I've never seen anything like this. It's a it's very a moving experience for many of us to, uh, to be involved in an effort that, uh, uh, that has uh, you know, just so much goodwill and volunteerism uh, attached to it. The team site on Beach 124th Street and Rockaway Beach Boulevard offers water, food, and supplies to veteran volunteers like a Rock War veteran, Daniel Groman, who's gone door to door to help residents. We were going out and taking out sand out of people's houses, dewatering basements doing a lot of debris removal, taking things that were destroyed out of their houses. So this is the Palantir system. Parked on a Team Rubicon site, the Veterans Green Bus, which is an environmentally friendly mobile disaster response unit. The bus attracted the curiosity of President Bill Clinton, who came to check it out Sunday during his Foundation's Day of Action for New York. A welcomed visit for these volunteer veterans who believe helping the community also helps them. Team Rubicon really facilitated my transfer by helping me and ensuring that I had a community, I had a mission, and I had a purpose coming out. Now, right behind me, this is the actual Veterans Green Bus that built the animal bus that not only has transported volunteers from Chicago to here, but it's also transported equipment, and it now houses a communication system that helps volunteers here on the ground communicate with each other, especially the moment after Sandy hit when there was no cell phone signal available. From Rockaway Beach, Harley Bornstein, New York One. Hi, I'm Gordon Soderberg. I'm the Executive Director and Veterans Chair of the United Peace Relief. I'm also the Program Director of the Veterans Green Bus Project. 
Our mission is to teach veterans how to convert and maintain vehicles and equipment using used cooking oil and waste vegetable oil, solar, and other sustainable energy solutions to respond to natural disasters. We do this by converting vehicles like this to run on waste vegetable oil. This bus carries 240 gallons of used cooking oil that we can turn directly into fuel. This gives us about a 2400 mile range. So here's a quick tour of our uh, fuel heating system. These are the water lines that come from the radiator. So you got hot and the cooler return. This goes in and splits off and meets up with our fuel lines and then chases them around wherever they go. There's a water line connected to it and then it's wrapped through all the way from the fuel system here and the tanks themselves. We have the radiator fluid coming through these two tubes in through the tank back out again to the next tank to the next tank and the next tank. So all these tanks are heated with 180 degrees engine temperature before we even start running on, on the grease. And these are the valves that convert from biodiesel to gr straight grease. And we could watch, see if we have the air, air leaks in the lines or anything like that. And uh, it's time, so when we go back to diesel, it cycles all of the grease back into the tanks and adds a little diesel to that before switching back to the diesel return so we never get grease in the diesel tank. So that's basically how it works. We're basically using a gallon of diesel fuel or biodiesel to heat the engine up to 180 degrees and then we're switching our fuel section from uh, biodiesel to these grease tanks through these filters. These two tanks filter our oil when we collect it. Those two tanks uh, filter it again through these micron and preheated filters so we make sure by the time it gets to the engine there's absolutely nothing in there but good used cooking oil. So that's the tour of the fuel system. Come up front here and I'll show you the gauges that we use to operate it while we're rolling. Right here is the fuel level of the last tank that actually feeds the motor. This switch pumps from the secondary tank to this tank to refill this one. This is the vacuum gauge that tells us how hard the filter is working on this tank. So when that spikes up we know it's time to change the filter. This button initiates us from running on biodiesel to grease and vice versa. And it also initiates the timing sequence to cycle the grease back into the tanks before cycling back to uh, diesel. Automatic 1980 Crown Super Coach. Put about 15,000 miles on it, maybe more. 2,400 of that has been on the used cooking oil. We've had absolutely no problems with the system we designed. And thank you, Full Circle fuels for helping us put build it and put it all together. He was uh, never seen a crown bus before but it, you know it only took us three days to install it. So we got this down to a science. Now we're making the repairs after the after the starter motor fire, which was completely separate from our grease system, but we're down until we get that fixed and we're gonna take this time to do servicing, maintenance Hopefully get some tires, replace the U-joints, grease all the fittings, change all the oil, all the filters. We got all that maintenance uh, parts already set aside for the service. But we need to deal with this electrical fire and the damage it caused to the connected uh, parts. So that's where we're at today. See you tomorrow. Yeah, well, this is the ground strap that came from the starter motor. Notice there's no insulation. This is all on fire. Disconnected it from the starter and where it's grounded to on the frame rail right here. This is a screw where it grounds. We'll have to replace that. It goes there. 
goes down to the starter motor and we replace the starter motor a leaky fuel line some insulation down in here that we got to deal with replace these battery cables the starter motor and we may start it but it's going to take some work man gonna need a shop we're gonna need tools labor parts so got our work cut out but we'll get it done